Let's talk ICC profiles, International Color Consortium profiles. What are they? I mean, that really is a valid, honest question. Do you really understand exactly what these profiles are supposed to do? Because if you don't, how can you really use them intelligently on your images if you don't really know what they're supposed to be doing? Now, I'm not talking about the profile we made for the monitor when we did the calibration through the spider. I'm talking about the profile that identifies the color space of the image you're working into the output device. Profiles are, well, they're just really a lookup table, and they describe the properties of a color space. Like, for example, the most saturated colors available, the bluest blue you could use, the deepest black your printer can produce. If you don't have a profile, those colors, the red, green, and blue, or CMYK if you're working subtractive, that make up a color don't really have a particular definitive meaning. So you can say something is blue, but what shade of blue? Accurate profiles are the key to a color managed workflow. So they tell us the darkest tones and colors the file can hold, the lightest tones and colors, the range, the gamut of color that it's capable of showing, and the distribution and relationship between the tones and colors. So the profile is the conduit between your monitor and the output device. Now I've prepared over here for you a little poor man's Microsoft PowerPoint presentation. Now I could have done this in PowerPoint actually, but I thought we're in Photoshop, let's stay in Photoshop. As a matter of fact, you do have this file in your working folders. It's called icc.psd if you want to play along. Let's say that I hire six painters and each one of those painters is going to paint for me a house. So there's our first thing. We got six painters, we got six houses. Now I give them three cans of paint, red, green, and blue. And we know that all the colors that we see with our eyes are mixed using any one of a combination of those three colors, red, green, and blue. And I even tell them what I want. I say, okay, I want the roof of my house to be blue. So I give them a swatch. You ever get those swatches at like the hardware stores and things like that where it looks like a piece or a chip of the paint and you take it home. We've done this, I can't tell you how many times when we repaint the inside of the house is we'll put those chips up there, right? And we'll look at them and my wife will go, well, you know, I like this color. I don't like that color. And then we actually get the paint and we paint it and I compare it back to that chip and it's close, but it's not exactly there. That would be like trying to print something without a profile. So I'm giving my six painters a swatch, but it's a visual swatch. I'm not telling them exactly how much color to mix. I'm saying I want that color. So they commence to painting and they put the roofs on and I might get something like that. Quite different. Why? Because each one of them interpreted the color their own way using their eyes. They were not using a set of numbers like ICC profiles. So I say, well, okay. How about the body of the house, the house itself? I want it to be red, and there's your color swatch. And, of course, the same thing, in a sense, is kind of going to happen. Everybody's going to interpret it differently. But if I give them, in a sense, an ICC profile for that paint, which actually is happening in the paint industry, I'm saying you mix this much of this one, this one, and this one. But you see, the output device is really determining what it's going to show. It would be like getting a can of paint, say red, from one of the manufacturers that makes paint. And a year later, you need some touch-up, but you ran out of the red you had, and you go back, they're out of that red in that manufacturer, which would be like the printer. And so you have to go to another can of paint, you have to put it on another printer. Each printer interprets red differently, it probably wouldn't work. But if I gave them that profile, and the colors were mixed exactly the way they were supposed to, I would probably wind up with this. Every house would be painted the same. Bottom line. An ICC profile is a conduit to instruct the output device, and there are different output devices, on how to print the colors that you're looking at on your monitor. That's what ICC is.